How's your day? Um, my day, my day. Sweetheart, would you take your hat off the table, please? You look so cute. Hey, what are you doing down there? Cleaning up some beer. When you get done, would you help me try to host up here? Well, no, actually, I think I'm gonna stay down here for a little while. I know that man's got a fine jawline. He's jaws. <laughs> well, I'm sorry you're upset. Well, yeah, I'm upset. Well, I, you know what? I, I should have given you more notice. All right, but I was a little bit busy. I know, I know. Your job is really stressful. Look, Tammy, you know I what, don't honey? Need... I'm doing it. All right. Oh. I threw the party for over a hundred people, and in, in two days' time, I did it with no help, and I'm cleaning up after your football stars, who, by the way, happen to be pigs. I'm doing it, but I'm not gonna pretend to like it. Not right now. Not down here. When I go back up there, I'll give you a big smile, all right? Just like I know you need. But down here, I am pissed and I'm going to stay down here until I can get back up there and give you your smile, all right? When you're done down here, it'd be really great if you'd come up and help me host. Did you talk to her? Yep. And? Damn, contrary to popular opinion, I'm very good communicating with women folk. Sweetheart, that is ridiculous. What time is it? You know, you and I have the exact same amount of experience being parents. We've been doing this job the same number of years and months and days as each other, and the truth of it is that we just don't have any control. You know, for the most part, we're just winging it. And I'm, you know, I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do in this situation. But I'll tell you what, the most important thing to me is that my daughter be able to talk to me. A girl is entitled to that with her mother. My mother used to tell me that I was gonna go to hell if a guy ever even touched me, and you know that didn't work. I'm sure as hell not gonna do that to Julie. And we raised a smart, responsible, moral girl. And I have faith in us. And I have faith in her. And now we just gotta let her go. I don't know. That's why I'm. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> How do you tell me? What is it? Um, I've been thinking about something today, and I'm going to make a proposal to you. And I don't want you to jump to any kind of immediate decision about okay. it. But All right. okay. I've been thinking that. Um, Julie and I could maybe stay here until she graduates from high school. That would give her some closure here. It would allow me to continue my work here with the kids. Dylan and Austin aren't that far away from each other. I mean, it's not a long commute. You could go on and take the job in Austin. It's not ideal, but it's a way that we could continue our lives, keep this family together. No. Just no? Yes, no. There's no what? You just can't say just no. No, and just I'll like tell you that. why it's not gonna happen, because that commute between Dylan and Austin is not just a simple commute. That's a separation between this family. Well, no what? You know what? I need you to just 
Think about it I'm for a second. I'm thinking about it. I'm listening. I thought about it. Well, I think we need to start to consider this now from the perspective of three people in this family. And you and I have a solid relationship. We have a mature relationship. We are mature people, and I know that our relationship can handle it. Well, you know and what? No, in that sense, I'm not mature. I'm not mature. They, I can't handle that because that's not a relationship. That's not a family. That's not what this family's going to do. And as far as those three people, you're leaving one person out, and that would be me because I don't agree with this at all. I do not agree with in any bit of what well, you've honey, said. You know what I'm thinking about right now? I'm thinking about how bad I'm gonna feel leaving these kids here. Why is this happening? Honey, I need you to hear me here. I hear you. What I'm doing I hear here what is you important. Say. I did this thing with Tyra today. I understand today. what you're these saying. These kids need me, and, what and I'm, that's what something I'm saying that is I there are need, other jobs, and, and there are other this. kids that no, need your help as well. No, there are not other jobs. What I'm there saying is, this is job. I took the job, me, and we are moving to Austin, period. These kids need me here. I would feel bad to leave. Can't you understand that? I love you. I respect you. Mm. I'm proud of you. Mm. I'm in love with you completely. You all right, babe? Mm-hmm. All right. I saw that news came out. Hell, I tried talking to those kids. The kids don't understand. Good man, babe. Honey, I gotta tell you something that I've been needing to tell you all day, and I just haven't haven't been able to. And it's the worst, it's the worst timing, and I'm sorry about that. And you know, we haven't talked about this in a long time, and I just don't know how you're gonna take it. I'm pregnant. What did you say? <laughs> Pregnant. Yeah. Pregnant like you're gonna have a baby pregnant. Mm -hmm. Look me in the eye and tell me that. <laughs> okay. We're gonna have a baby, honey. You look a little peaked. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Oh. Oh. I love you. I love you. <laughs> hey. So I just got asked out to happy hour from the teachers at school. Really? Mm-hmm. Can't get any support from any of these teachers. Can't get them to sign up for my mentoring workshop. None of that. But, oh, come on to happy hour. Where's the happy hour? Rivera's. Hey, Rivera's is a great place. You know what? I'm going to go to happy hour. You should. And I'm going to create some allegiances, so maybe I can get some help over there. You should do that. Rivera's is a happy place. You start having cocktails, everyone will talk about everything. It's easier to get flies with honey than it is vinegar. Oh, 
no, that is our daughter's bed. Are you crazy? That is disgusting. Sammy. Hey, honey. You know, I wanted to talk to you about what you said about us not being East Coast people. I mean, you know how much I love Texas. I love it here so much. But we will never know if we're not East Coast people. We've people got a really big try. problem. We can always come back. We have got a much bigger problem than what you're talking about. What? Matt Saracen asked your daughter to marry him. Julie? What are you talking about? No, Gracie. Yes, Julie. He came into my office today, and he asked for Julie's hand in marriage. He asked me for her hand in marriage. At least he had the decency to come talk to you. No, he didn't me. have any decency to come talk to me, because he already talked to her. And you know what your daughter said? Your daughter said yes. No. Oh, yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. They They're too young. That's what Crazy, I said. honey. What'd you tell them? I said, oh, great. Let's break out some champagne. This is going to be fantastic. I don't know why you're yelling at me. I think we agree on this. You ready to go home?